City leaders are pushing ahead with an innovative plan that aims to reduce some of the summer heat on and above our asphalt streets. And that's where we start tonight. Researchers shared what they have learned from the city's use of so-called cool pavement. Our investigative team is looking into this issue for the past two years. Morgan Lowe is here. You have tonight's developments. The big question is, does this stuff even work? Yeah, researchers from ASU told us tonight it does work, but how well it works or how long it's going to work and, and will that really make a difference in our hot summers? Now, those are open questions, but tonight's announcement was enough for city officials to say they are going to add more streets to this project. It's a chemical coating that's applied to the top of asphalt streets, light gray in color, and it's supposed to reduce surface and air temperatures especially during our hot summers. The goal of cool pavement is to reduce the urban heat island by addressing the surface temperature of our streets. Ryan Stevens is an engineering manager with the city of Phoenix. He says the city has applied cool pavement to 107 miles in 27 neighborhoods in the past four years. I want to thank ASU for their partnership in the study. Tonight, Stevens and a team of researchers from ASU announced the project has had an effect. There's actually quite a large drop. In the middle of the day, we see between 10 and 12 degrees Fahrenheit drops in surface temperature. Jennifer Vanos from ASU says that is significant. Cooler streets mean cooler air, although the drop in air temperature was much less pronounced, less than a single degree. And the radiant heat from cool pavement can actually reflect onto pedestrians, making it not suitable for surfaces where people walk. If someone is walking in the middle of the road, then they will feel hotter on the reflective surface. That's why we say it's important to think about where this is placed, and we don't want it placed in, in playgrounds, for example, where we're asking children to be active on a more reflective surface. And the ASU researchers say they still want to know more about how long these positive results will last as the surface is driven on over several years. Meantime, the city paused its addition of cool pavement earlier this year, but it's now looking to add an additional eight miles of the reflective coating this season. Yetta? Morgan.